Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Come on, guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, West Coast IPA time. Some of my favorite times. Uh, Carl Strauss and Russian River collabed on a IPA, uh, and that beer is called New California IPA. I like this can art. It's got that color scheme on one side and this color scheme on the other. Uh, Russian River, so famously known for Pliny, Blind Pig. Um, one of my favorite hoppy breweries, one of the first hoppy breweries I really fell in love with. Carl Strauss, I've talked about on the channel before. I think they're a very, very underrated um, brewery in San Diego been around since 89. No one ever talks about them. Their beers don't get hype. Um, they make awesome, awesome hoppy beers. They make really good uh, stouts and um, they have a really good, uh, they're two turtles or two tortugas, whatever that beer is called. It's a Belgian beer, I think. They just, they make really, really good beers. No one ever talks about them, it seems like. Um, one of my favorite beers, one of my favorite shelf beers is Aurora Hoppialis. If you guys have never had that beer, seek it out. If you find it fresh, drink it. It is worth your time. That's the beer I drink the most uh, when I go to Padres games. <laughs> there's Where our seats are, there's a Carl Strauss little um, booth, and they always have Aurora Hoppialis on tap. So, um, yeah. Russian River just did their expansion. They have a brand new awesome brewery that I heard is amazing. Um, and they made kind of a West Coast style IPA. Tons of hops in this, Strata, Equinot, Amarillo, Idaho 7. And then a hop I've never heard of. It's like <laughs> Pato or Pato, Potato, <laughs> Pato hops, I'm not sure. Um, this was canned on July 22nd. So we're two weeks old, something like that. Um, I feel like this just got released though. I, I had heard like last, it was Thursday, Sunday. I'd heard, or I saw on Instagram on Thursday that this was um, in bottle shop, so maybe they sat on it for a week, or I'm not sure. I think, from what I heard, Russian River brewed this, and then, or it's a Russian River recipe. Who knows, though? It's a collab. Um, I don't know if it got canned up there or down here. Maybe the San Diego beers got canned down here, and maybe they did a batch up north. I'm not 100% sure, so um, let's get into this one. We're using our Russian River pint glass. I don't use this glass very often, um, but this is going to be a clear West Coast style beer, which I am absolutely in love with at the time, or at the moment. Actually, the moment, my whole life I've been in love with West Coast style beers, clear beers. Um, juice bombs are fine, I just, I'm a West Coast IPA guy at heart, so. Tons and tons of carbonation in this glass. There, look at all those bubbles, can you see that? Fluffy finger of bright white head. Um, it looks darker with the, uh, the lights out here, but it's a clear straw yellow. Um, it probably looks dark gold on camera, but it's like that bright kind of vibrant lemonade color. Um, there's a chill haze on it. I drink all my West Coast IPAs cold. We didn't even mention the ABV of this. Is it 7%? 6.5% alcohol by volume. Um, I'm not sure what other people paid for this. Uh, admittedly, I was in Carlsbad and picked this up at a bottle shop that's known to have higher prices. I paid $17 for a four pack of this. But I guess if you go to the brewery, if you go to the Russian River and buy bottles of Pliny, 16 ounce bottles are five bucks a piece. So it's cheaper than buying four of those. Go figure. It is warm today, it's humid. Um, I'm imagining I'm gonna chug this beer. I'm super thirsty. Let's shove our nose in and see what she smells like. Yeah, so this has that, I mean, this is that classic West Coast. It's, I know people don't like when you use bitter when you smell something, but it smells bitter. It smells floral, it smells earthy. Um, it's got like that dirty kind of grassy, like, <laughs> When, when grass is really wet and it's got like that, when it's like you can smell like, it's got that dirty earthy smell. I don't know how to describe that. It smells like muddy grass. Like when you would play football as a kid after it rained, just that smell that was on you when you would get all muddy in the grass, that's what it smells like. Yeah, it's got this danky like, I, I mean earthy is the best way to describe it. It smells dusty. It smells intensely, um, <laughs> It's we. I don't even know how to describe it. It smells like when you walk into like when I was in Ohio last summer. You walk down into like a damp basement. That's what that smells like. It sounds kind of off-putting, probably, but it smells good. It's got an orangey kind of just generic random citrus note. But this is a West Coast beer. This doesn't have that soft, juicy, tropical, fruity thing. This is lemon peel. This is orange peel. This is like when flowers bloom, like that floral kind of thing. Um, <laughs> I have really bad allergies. So like in the springtime when flowers start blooming and it makes me sneeze, like that's what it reminds me of smelling. 
It's, I mean, it smells like a West Coast bitter hot bomb. I know hot bomb people don't like that either, but I don't give a fuck if you like that or not. That's what it is. It's super hoppy. It's intense. Um, like I said, you're not getting like any specific citrus thing. It's like that kind of lemon limey orange peel thing. It smells pithy. Um, I mean, this smells like a West Coast beer. It's got that cool, sweet kind of like that sweet sticky kind of malty backbone that like just the all these hops are just sitting on top of like this this does not if you're into juice bombs you probably hate the way this smells um idaho seven get, always gives me like this kind of danky ranky thing people say it's tropical to them i don't get that from idaho seven i've never heard of pato or pato or however the fuck you say that hop i'm not sure what that's offering super floral earthy let's uh taste it we don't need to keep repeating ourselves cheers That's a Russian River beer. Um, it says New California. I don't know what that means <laughs> because this is old school California IPA. This reminds me of moving back to San Diego in 2010 and getting into super dank in your face West Coast IPA. That's what this is. Um, Hayes Bros need not apply for this beer. You won't like this beer. It'll be interesting to see what the untapped ratings of this beer are. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty low. Everything that you smell from start to finish goes across your tongue. It's bitter, it's earthy, it's dusty, it's dirty. Um, it's intensely citric, lemon limey, orange pith. There's like a grapefruit kind of appeal thing in there. Um, not really, there's not like a fruitiness to this. This is dank West Coast IPA. Um, really, really clean, really crisp. Um, it offers that kind of sweet kind of finish, but my tongue is just bone dry from drinking that. Um, and it makes me want to chug it. It's hot. I just got done with a run a little while ago. Like I'm very, very thirsty and I could finish this entire thing on camera. It's really, really easy drinking for near 7%, 6.5%. Obviously you're not tasting booze. Um, this is one of those beers, Matt, Matt Sabiri always says, it's a chugger, I could chug this. Um, it's funny though, because it offers all the crazy old school classic West Coast notes, but it doesn't like really stick around your tongue. It's not heavy on your palate. It, I, I feel like you wouldn't get palate fatigue from one of these you could probably drink two or three of these and still kind of you know have your <laughs> sense of taste um but this is my wheelhouse this is the kind of beer that i grew up loving this is the kind of beer that i yearn for these days um it's such a nice break from everyone doing hazy juice bomb beers that aren't really beer anymore it's juice and that's the, like this is what beer was to me and this is what beer still should be not should be, but this is the beer that I love. So um, I'm sure I'm probably a bigger fan of this beer than other people that have had it recently. I'd be interesting to see um, what you guys think. This wasn't one of those beers. It was like a small release. This was available to everyone, I think, Northern California, Southern California. Um, I don't know if there was hype behind this. I didn't even know they were collabing, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm glad I have a four pack of this. I will probably drink all four of them tonight <laughs> because it's freaking delicious. It's super floral crazy this is uh putting you back in a time machine to like whenever you started drinking west coast beer for me it was 2010 ish so almost 10 years which is crazy um and i still love the style so i'm a fan this is a very very good beer i mean i don't grade beers anymore because i don't care about putting numbers on beers but this is a beer that if it was around if they always brewed it, brewed this and it was on the shelf i would have this in my fridge all the time that's what i like it's delicious it's refreshing it's fantastic um it's old school ipa that's what you like. You'll love this. So uh, that is New California IPA from Carl Strauss and Russian River. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I know it's been kind of um, sparse between beer reviews for me. It's just the way that it is for me these days. Um, someone had said it would be, you know, I don't know if it was a sarcastic comment, but it would be nice if you did more beer reviews. I mean, it would be nice if I got excited about something to review. I mean, I just not, <laughs> I don't know, nothing really like in like grabs me and like you have to turn the camera on and drink this i just enjoy drinking beer these days with my buddies and my family and i just beer reviews will kind of come as they come and i guess that's the way it goes so uh there'll be more beer reviews which is a matter of when i open something that's awesome or something that i'm looking forward to and we'll do <laughs> we'll just go from there so i uh, just spent a week in chicago that was awesome the beer scene there is amazing if you've never been go to chicago um had some really, really awesome stuff there. Saw Nathan there. Uh, we reviewed a beer, kind of a hype beer. I don't know if he's going to upload that video or not, but keep an eye out for that. 
Um, and keep an eye out on the channel. Like I said, there'll be more beer reviews. So uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Mr. Brian Krajak, let him know. Thank you for coming behind the bar, in the arcade, all that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.